please, what exactly did I do to you? Because it is not possible for me not to have done anything to you. The hatred you had so towards me and Liam, they were too bad all along. Hey, don't let me talk of me. She ain't no idea to move away. But 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 Ten years to see my boy not come here like you. That's why they want to let me. Why pay me more now? She was possible to even do ten years. Say for me to tell you, oh, the time to to make him a job. Ah yes, please let me talk. Let me talk. I'm in pain. Let me talk, please. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe, can you solve no? Hey, Joe, can you solve no? Yes. Hey, Joe, can you solve no? I want to ask him what he knows about it. He might have gotten information from somewhere so I can clear myself. I really want to. And also, please let me to tell you those cool people. I have begged Baba to come and do DNA since November. But Baba, Baba go lorry in. Baba will change DNA. Once he begged Baba, Baba start for DNA because of the money they are giving him. You people don't know this man's scope. Oh, you people don't know him. I know him so well. I know a few people. A clear, a clear cautious fear no accusation. Why should I be scared because of Liam? Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So today we are going to be analyzing a voice note recording that surfaced very recently about Mobad's wife. Yes, everybody has been asking. This young lady has been quiet. Of course, this is an unofficial voice note. She was actually in a conversation with some people. Yes, we are going to talk about everything. She actually spoke in the native language, the Yoruba language, but I am going to take my time to you know, tell you everything she said. Yes, I wrote everything down. Everything she said down, I wrote it down. And I am going to one by one just talk about it. If it's possible, this video might not be in one, you know, just one because of how lengthy it could be. So I will try as much as possible to be fast, but even if we don't get through, we might have subsequent videos so what you do is just subscribe to this channel and turn your turn on your post notifications so like i said wumi who is mobat's wife finally breaks her silence this is because she has been getting a lot of threats in fact a lot of people have been cursing out a child and so on that's people who are in support of mobat's father now when this whole story started we can tell that mobat's dad has been the one coming all out there to seek for sympathy and also asking for justice but we are going to actually say is this man actually asking for justice or there's another thing under the whole thing you know under this whole thing now when mobat passed on everybody was we're all sympathizing we're all sad because of the videos we saw all of a sudden dna narrative came up and they diverted the whole story to dna and that is where we have been all this while now there has been corona inquest there has been so many things that have been going on now yes the, the police are no longer updating us we really do not know why but this young lady had to come out because people were coming for her child somebody actually said the child is not going to live to a year so she couldn't take it anymore she had to call on somebody she regards as a senior which is abu Abel is actually, you know, a popular face and is a real estate person. Yes, we're going to be posting the voice note she had with Ayat. Ayat is one TikToker, a popular TikToker, who has been on Mobat's father's side. So because he's on Mobat's father's side, he has actually been doing, saying a whole lot about me. I must say, the young lady has been quiet. I want to believe that probably a legal team told her to just keep quiet, let the whole case go down, then you can actually come out to speak. But of course, when a child comes into the case, <laughs> if you cuss out my child and you see any bad thing about my child, I am going to forget every other thing going on and I'm going to come outside to defend my child. So I think this is what she was trying to do. And in the voice note, she actually spilled. She spilled a whole lot of things that I'm sure a lot of persons would be interested to hear no that's why i said this video might not be in one we might have more videos but let's just start with this presidential emma Binusa. hey joe ayat ayat i'm so sorry please i want to ask you something please what exactly did i do to you because it is not possible for me not to have done anything to you the hatred you had so towards me and liam I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Ah, yes, please, let me talk. Let me talk. I'm in pains. Let me talk, please. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe, you so much, no? Hey, Joe, you so much, no? Yes. I actually wrote everything down, bits and pieces of everything she said. So she started with when the Abu actually made the phone call and linked her up with the other person that has been you know, saying all sorts of things about her on social media. So yes, that's the first part of the video. But I'm going to just tell, show him, take you to where she starts talking. So she started by saying, why would I want to kill my husband? Now, let me use the word why. Why is for K-I-L-L. -L. So why would I want to fire my husband? Now, we have been together for 10 years. 10 years. And I know how I suffered with him. I had no car. I'm, this is just the interpretation of everything. There were also interruptions, you know, between the callers and all that. But I am not. I'm just saying everything she said. She said, why would I want to kill my husband? Say, I have no car. I have no work. I know nothing about royalty that Baba Mubad is fighting for. I had no nothing. We just got a house for the first time last year. We were living with up to 15 people. We were living with up to 15 people. So how would I have been able to do such a thing in the midst of 15 people? You say, how do I buy him when we live with up to 15 people? When I should be enjoying my life with him? He doesn't sleep. I nurse him like as I nurse a child. Now, talking about Baba Mubad, she said, I have told him to come forward for the DNA, but he has refused because of the money. I've told him to come forward for DNA. You want DNA? No problem. Since last year, she said since November last year, she has been telling Baba to come forward for DNA, and Baba is not saying anything. She said she has even called some of her family members to call him forward to come and do the DNA, but he is not replying. He doesn't even pick calls anymore. But he comes online to say a different thing thing you say she said you don't know Mubat's, uh, Mubat's father you have no idea who Mubat's father is so now talking about Mubat again you have no idea what Mubat has gone through he is not always at peace he doesn't sleep he's always scared I had Mubat's I was pregnant for Mubat's baby but I didn't go for antenatal and I did not go to the hospital he believed that the Malayans were everywhere they were everywhere. We don't go out. We don't do so many things. So she's talking to the Ayat guy now. Like the conversation was continued. You know, so she was talking to the Ayat guy. And she said, Why will you curse Liam? Why will you curse Liam that Liam will not cross one year? You will never see any of Mubat's friend, Balashimoda, and so on. She mentioned other names come outside to say anything because they knew how we started they knew what i have suffered they knew how both of us have been together suffering before it's that a lot of things they're just getting good for him she said Boba's father when Boba's father came to the house after he pied and they were talking about properties his anger with us is is that the elders something about the elders you know the the, uh, the elders who wanted to come and share the property said Mobile has a child so because Mobile has a child so a lot will go to Mobile's child and that has been Mobile's father's anger this is according to the voice notes you can actually listen to it you know in hand so she said should i come out and tell to should i should i come out to also start talking about baba Mobad? he is not who you people think he is but I am not going to do that. Mobile detests hospital so bad. Like, he detests hospital so bad. She actually said this one in English. And she was saying a whole lot of things. She said, I have never had any conversation with Sam Larry before. I have never had any conversation with Oba Elegushi before. So, going back to the DNA, she said, you want me to do DNA, but I can't just take my child and give him to Baba Mubad, you know, because of everything we have been through. What she meant by that was that I can't just hand over my child to someone and say, go and do DNA. I have to be in the middle of this. And I have said, okay, you want us to go ahead with DNA? Why not? We're going to do the DNA in three different places because I don't want a situation where you're going to come back and say, oh, it was a compromise or whatever thing you are going to be the one to take us you tell us where we should go to you will be there you'll be present this is what this young lady has been saying so she said again if i am to speak about how mobad's father treated mobad if i'm to talk about it a lot of you are actually going to come out to stone him i am saying exactly what she said this is what she said i am going to, you people are going to go and stone baba mobad 
so now what is really going on guys for those of you who have been after dna 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 this young lady just said it she has finally said it that i have never objected to dna baba mubad has been the one delaying dna because of money now you want dna now first of all that was not the situation in the voice note she said it that where it got angry was because of the property sharing because they were like mubad has a child so the child is actually the things are supposed to go to Mubad's child and boom, Baba got angry and that was where this whole online thing started. More like, ah, I trained the child, I'm not gonna get anything. Well, that's African mentality. They feel like because they train you, therefore they should have something. If you say have something, I don't think I have any issue with a father wanting something, but I have an issue with a father wanting everything or a larger percentage when you know that this this person had a child and so a lot of you who have been bullying women sometimes i'm wondering if you people ever think about life after now because some of the things a lot of people say and do against other people always come back to them yes it always comes back to them so in this particular situation i have been very very careful the kind of things i say i don't totally i won't say baba mobad is bad and i won't say woman is bad i just analyze things the way they are Okay, we are hearing it now. A lot of people are shouting DNA, thinking that this young lady is the one that doesn't want her to do DNA. But fortunately, it's actually the reverse. She has actually said, okay, tell us where are we going to come and do DNA. But Baba Mubad is actually not saying anything about it. But I have an issue with him now coming online. You're singing, you're creating, you know, you're just giving too many attention to the media. And behind closed doors you're not picking calls you're not picking calls when they tell you when do you actually want the dna so that this young lady can actually rest and to a lot of people who are bullying her 24 turn 25 this girl is just 25 years at 25 years of age what were you i need to ask like where were you what were you what were the decisions you could take in your life now she's saying it we are 15 in the house so how would i have killed my husband and for those who don't know she has been cleared as a suspect she's no longer a suspect she's a witness to the whole situation and so she's witnessing to the fact that her husband was fired but not as a suspect so those are the oh she's the four she's the one she's the one she has been cleared yes there are reports that Wumi has been cleared and prime boy is actually the prime suspect in all of this because if she was a suspect she would also be in maybe jail she would be in holding they would have held that but unfortunately she's not but our nigerians turned this whole story from what exactly was happening which were a lot of things she said here her husband doesn't sleep He's always scared. She was taking care of him like a baby, you know. So many things that she said here because of how traumatized it was from his past situation. Now I know a lot of people say, eh, "Yes, Ma eh, Malian has been, or, eh, Naira Mali has been cleared from all of this, from this particular situation." I say yes, but Naira was not there. It wasn't this. It wasn't that. But there was a story. There was a trauma. There was an experience with these people that made these guys' lives lives uh, that made his life miserable to the point where he just you know he became scared to go to hospital in this voice note this young lady actually said she didn't go to antenata guys yeah, you know what it is to be pregnant as a woman you didn't go to antenata you didn't give birth in the hospital you gave birth the native way because your husband is scared that they are after his life you can imagine that kind of trauma that kind of fear that is in him that made him do something like this so let's be careful those of us will come out there to just say things we do not know please let us be very, very careful. Wumi has finally come out to speak. So for those who are labeling her, judging her, you're throwing stones at her, how are you going to take back your words right now? How are you going? How do you feel right now hearing this? Of course, she's, this is not even an official statement, but this is coming out because of what people are doing because of your child. And she couldn't take it anymore. She had to come out to speak. So a lot of us wanted to hear her speak. Wumi don't talk, oh, she don't talk, and she... In fact, the first time I listened to this voice, no, I broke down because I'm a mother and I can't imagine experiencing this kind of a thing at what age. You've been together with him for 10 years and time for you to start enjoying. It was taken away from you and instead of you to fight for justice, you could turn the whole thing upside down and turn it against her, which is still the African society we are, where women are blamed for a lot of things. Mobad didn't want to go to the hospital. You put any, you would have forced him. You people teach us submission. Women submit, submit. So you, she should go to hospital when even herself, she didn't give it to her son in the hospital. She gave it to her son in a native way. For those watching, native ways, you just go to one midwife. 
somewhere you know in house you keep it at home a midwife just comes to take care of you and that was exactly the same thing he did when he needed to treat himself fortunately or unfortunately his own nurse was not around but he had to call for another nurse who gave him whatever thing he reacted to whatever thing she gave him and boom that's the situation we have ourselves right now so can we just take it easy on this young lady for now can we take it easy on her there's another part of this interview we need to talk about which is why is baba mobad delaying dna and turning this whole thing upside down on this young lady we really need to know we really need to know why he's doing this so in our next video that is what we are going to be talking about why is baba mobad delaying this whole dna thing and turning it on a young lady why why is he doing this please do well to like this video if you have your the comment you want to drop you have observation or opinions about this whole voice no thing please drop it in the comment section and yes we'll be back why is baba mobile quiet why is he not saying anything about dna so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel like i said don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notification so that you'll be amongst the first to see my video when i post them all right everyone I'm so sorry, please. I want to ask you something. Please, what exactly did I do to you? Because it is not possible for me not to have done anything to you. The hatred you had so towards me and Liam. Oh, I didn't know you, Liam. I don't 
everything or fuck or come and the man said he is never going to give it because nobody be more Yeah. 